Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Thailand. We are here at the CMON 2024 Game Expo in Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, the second and third at the MCC Hall. It's at the third floor of a mall, and you can see pretty much the whole con as I've just disorientated all of you. So there's a lot of different booths here, a lot of different Southeast Asian companies here, and some new games announced from CMON themselves. Let's jump into things. Here we have the Eureka Thailand Board Game Designer Awards. I'm actually one of the judges on this, so I don't know anything about these games other than the names of them right now. We have Bear Scout, um, the Pug Shot, Detective Among Us. So these are kind of new games, so we're going to find out about them as we play them, I suppose. That's tomorrow. Right now, um, the hall hasn't opened. It is... According to my watch, 8.56 a.m. here. It opens at 9.30 for the VIPs, so 30 minutes of quiet. So here we have the all-play booth. They're showing off things and rings through the desert. They're small games. And then right across from them, we have Bitewing Games. They're showing off the new games they've just released, as well as some upcoming games. So a lot. Reiner Kenichi was supposed to be here. Unfortunately, he got sick right beforehand. This is Oink Games. They're showing off all their new ones, including Rafter 5, which we just played recently on the Dice Tower. And then behind me here, we have Horrible Guild, showing off probably the best kids game of the year, Spotlight, as well as Flowerfield and, of course, more Similo. Then there's Play Tea Booth games over there, um, showing off a lot of their little small box Korean games. Over here, we have Yellow Games. They're showing off... Well, they're working with Restoration Games, showing off The Witcher. That's going to be everything, and people are going to run to that because it's The Witcher. But also King of Tokyo Duel and some other small games here. And, of course, there's the expansion for Ancient Knowledge in the back there. Lots of games to buy here. This is a nice new version, well, at least new for me, of Gemblow. But you can see lots of games here. Some are in English, some are in uh, Thai. Uh, and so we have... Tower Tactics Games, who works with Simon here. Um, and you can see the Simon booth right behind there. We'll take a look at that in a second. Sky Team, of course, really being pushed. Over here, we have AEG showing off the new Nocturne. Let's go to Japan. And Misfit Heroes. This is an upcoming game with some uh, card crafting involved. Here we have, of course, the Expo Shop from Simon itself. They're showing off Flamecraft, which I'm sure is going to sell well. Some Marvel United promos. Hey, it's Godzilla and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Promo Central here. And, of course, all play games sold there in the back. So a lot of this is where I'm sure people are going to run because, hey, let's buy games. Over here we have what might be the hottest game of the year. Lord of the Rings Duel right there being pushed here, of course, and Far Shuffle, Far Away. Catch Sketch. I don't know this game. It looks kind of fun. Well... We'll find out more about that. All right, well, here's the hottest thing of the fair for sure. The two, there's three new games from CMON. Ethnos, the second edition Ethnos, which kind of came out of nowhere. We'll talk more about how that happened later this week in the news. Um, and Nova Era, a new kind of engine city building game. And then Yakuza. So all three of these games are brand new. I will, by the time you're watching this, I will have played at least a couple of them. Over here you can see some trading card games. Here's a little store selling games. Magic the Gathering, of course. Altered. And Cookie Run Bravers. Perverse. I don't know anything about this Cookie Run game. I, I need to know, though. It's about cookies. Um, and then, of course, more games for sale here. You're going to be able to buy lots of games. At this con, I think it's going to be mostly a buying con. Well, playing, you can see all the tables too, with some announcements still to come. To my eyes, to see me, there's not many conventions that have a merry-go-round in them. But that's part of the mall here. And then, of course, there's smaller game publishers out here. And you can see little booths for the different games out here. I really like the tent motif of each of these games. Actually, these are not necessarily booths for games, these are carnival style games. There's Can Smash, and there's a large version. Oh, this is really cool. I love this sort of thing. And over there is an actual arcade. Huh. And then over here, you can see some setups. There's Galactus beckoning us to play Marvel Zombies, or you can play the Marvelous Marvel United. And then here is Arkham Horror. 
root, and then nucleum over there. A lot of different games here. All right, here I have Han who has brought me here to Thailand <laughs> um, and got me. At, so what is this? What number convention is this here? Uh, this is Simon Expo Bangkok. Uh, this is our love letter to the Asian community where we hope to be able to bring a, a small experience of what uh, Gen Con and Essen is and hope to be able to bring it to people on the eastern part of the globe. Yeah. And there's, this is the third one, right? This is the third one. Uh, I think the first one was pre-pandemic and then uh, we had one last year as well and then this is technically ob about the second one in that case if you think about it. How many yeah. people are you expecting? We're hoping to get, be able to reach 5,000 over two days. Mm -hmm. Alright, so mm -hmm. yeah, day one is starting in uh, 20 minutes. In 20 minutes. Are you ready? Uh, we'll, we'll, we're always ready. <laughs> I just showed people the hall. They know we're not ready yet. <laughs> and here's board and dice showing off, oh, the new Trismegist is coming. And side quests, Minos and Nucleum. And Reef Project, but they didn't make a, a sign from that because Nucleum is that popular. Over here we have Japan brand showing off a bunch of their new small games. So yeah. Well, they're about to open the door any minute here for the uh, VIPers to come in. And so we're going to sneak in first. Look at this. Look at this walk in. So cool. Well, they're doing a countdown here. And I don't think it's. Are people going to run? Oh, people are running. It's the same at every convention. People are always running in the door. Going to grab new games. I think buying is the first thing people are doing here. Then demo. How do you do it? Demo, then buy? Demo, then demo? Buy, then buy? That's what a lot of you do, admit it. So let's peek through a crack, because that's how all good journalists do it. I see people getting in line to buy games. Oh, they saw me. Oh, crap. Being inside the prime box, at least, uh, they have a value for 7,000 to 14,000 baht. I, I was very thirsty because I've been talking to a lot of people here, folks, but I got this orange slushy here that is amazing. It's actual oranges. Like, it's like orange juice. Is, I don't want to explain it. This is the best orange thing I've ever had in my life. Uh, why am I talking about this? Let's drink it. So here you can see all kinds of the games from Tower Up, selling everything from all play games to Canvas and uh, Ferris, uh, uh, Ferris Wheel. The Maringer round is running. Hooray! Registration is still kind of busy here, but there's lots of people still coming in. Oh, and waving hello. George R. R. Martin is never going to finish the book. We know that. That hasn't stopped tons of people from playing it. Look at this. Look at the battle. Who's going to win? No one can tell. But it's fierce. It's a challenger's tournament. That's pretty cool. And if the uh, board gaming gets boring, there's this gigantic jungle jungle gym. Crazy cool. This mall is absolutely gorgeous. It's a really nice mall. All right, I just played Jakarta Traffic. I was delivering all over the place. And I don't want to brag about my points compared to my opponents. But one of us won. Look, it's Taboo Taboo. This is the game where people are going to have words in their head and you want them to say their words. They don't want to do it, though. I just played Yama. Yama? That's right. Yama, which is... Look at that, look at that spin. I'm trying to get four in a row, which I did here. Wait, 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 wait. All right, now I tried Viet Season. This is a game which has cards, different suits, and you are trying to... Run out combos before your opponent. Oh, we just played Volumkali. Yes. Uh, this is about big boat races, and I don't want to brag, but my boat won. I also lost the game, yes. but my boat did win. The game doesn't matter. <laughs> what are the scores? Um, you know what? Let's just move on. <laughs> All right, I just played Nancy Lamek. Is that how you say it? Yeah, Nancy Lamek. In which I made some delicious food, but I lost. Because of cheating, <laughs> cheating. So now I'm playing a new Nova Era game here. I've done nothing so far. <laughs> Everyone else I has care. stuff. I learned something. I learned optic. I got one uh, money. I I I'm losing. Yeah. We're getting close to the end of the first day here, and they are um, giving out the awards for the the winners for the Challengers Tournament. And then they're about to make some announcements, which you probably already know about now. 
Because I probably talked about them this week on the channel. Since graduated and on the last campaign, we're the big kafuk. So without further ado, let's see what we got here. Three, two, two one. one. Oh. Now, not only is this playable in a new campaign, this is the coolest part. You can have kafuk fight him. So this, this will be our next upcoming campaign and also you can get all of the previous campaign as well at the same time. Well they just announced that there's a giant mini Cthulhu and well that already exists and a giant Godzilla which I need in the studio now because that is an awesome I'm actually uh, more excited about that. More than Galactus and Cthulhu. more than Cthulhu. That Godzilla Cthulhu. thing looks really cool. And you'll be able to have Godzilla and Cthulhu fight in the new Godzilla. edition. Godzilla. Oh! Yeah, holding Thor's hammer. Yes! Well, I mean, Do you want more? Yes. Yes. yes! yes! Do you want more Marvel? Well, yes. Do you want invasions coming in? Well, not really. To be defended and assembled by the Avengers. Okay, that's, us. yes, definitely. And to give you some more details, you see there's a lot of <laughs> confidential, confidential, confidential. Okay. I can tell you well. a few things about it. Fight, secret, secret, secret of, secret, secret, secret of the Marvel Universe. Another thing I can tell you is that there will be heroes across secret, 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 secret. secret. <laughs> All right, day one is winding down. These big boxes, a lot of them have sold. These, folks, I have to say, if you ever come to see Moncon, buy one of these boxes. They are full of, like, amazing games. I was very impressed. Like, I saw one that had Blood Rage and and just a lot of great games in them. Um, right now, they're announcing a bunch of games that are going to be localized in Thailand, so in the background, so that's cool. But like I said, you can see that things again are slowly calming down, and that's good. That's good. It's almost seven here. The car close to eight. So yeah, and uh, yeah, I'm getting tired. All right, I'm currently sizing this up. I think I can fit this in my suitcase. They probably won't notice if I take it. I could set off a fire alarm. They never know. This is pretty cool. This is obviously an early resin copy of it. And that's a lot of Cthulhu. I mean, that's it. Oh, I went to play Dinky Dungeon. And I won against famous designers and publishers. <laughs> so we're playing Quiet House, where we're not allowed to communicate at all. So no one's talking but you at all. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Well, we lost. And normally I don't blame myself, but now I'm going to blame everyone. <laughs> it's your fault. It might have been. <laughs> all right. It is day two of the convention here. I played a game already this morning. It's a little bit lower attendance right now. I was told that Thai families... We'll not spend the Sunday mornings together, and then they will come in later in the day. I'm heading over to a contest area now where I'm playing some games, and uh, we're gonna pick one of these games to win the contest. So we'll see how that works. So let's take a look at some of these amazing scenes, these paint job scenes. This one is really cool, I like the the smash DHL truck and this one the vortex opening here but the this might be one of the best paint jobs I've ever seen and I'll tell you why because see that right there that's that's the window right that's painted and in fact if you look carefully 
you could see all the shadows and that's not from the light those shadows are painted in this shootout which is just it's, it's just crazy cool so this is probably one of the best paint jobs i've ever seen all right we're about to do some judging here and look i got my own seat here mr tom basil dice tower tower taxi game company so the three of us are going to be judges. I even have my own water with my name on it. This is high class, folks. Try. Yeah. This is what and it looks like from the judges' dead. seat. We and have fun. Babel, Wagner, yeah. and Tuk Tuk Tuk. Yeah, and really fun power. You try, if you like. Easy All right, they're handing out have. winners for a Go song of race fire. That's David Dowson Stager. He's the president of CMUN. Oh, foul, foul. The Middle Earth Team 2. Okay. So I'm playing a game here of Marvel United Civil War. It's Hawkeye or Hawkeye's daughter and Goliath. And I don't want to brag, but we're the blue cube right now. It's not looking good. These guys are trying to survive. I think they're gonna die. Thank you so much, you guys. Right. The they're closing the show out. Sure. Come back and see us next year. A lot of people have left at this point. Again. But it is over, except for a final picture and shutdown. Thank you. Thank you. We're taking a picture here on stage to end it. So far, we've been standing up here for two hours and 67 minutes. We might get the picture taken today. So the convention's over and I'm heading back to America in, I don't know, like four or five hours. And so I don't have a lot of time to do sightseeing. So I just kind of, we randomly went out of my hotel, found a taxi that took me to a boat. And now I'm around the middle of the river here by myself on a boat. Um, I'm also recording this in case there's found footage for whatever reasons you want to know what happened to me. But <laughs> I don't know what's happening next. We'll see. folks that's it for the blog i'm about to get in a taxi which takes me to the airport which takes me to the plane which takes me to another airport it's another 30 hour montage you don't need any of that uh, i'm a little less excited about that myself but i'll be back by the time you watch this i will be back uh and we'll have lots of stuff for you new games from the Simon fair will be showing off and playing besides lots of other publishers i was able to talk to there so either way, I had a great time here. Thailand's an amazing country. Thank you to everybody who said hi to me. If you said hi to me and took a picture with me, send it to me at tom at dicehour.com. I love to get those pictures. Anyhow, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for the CMON Expo for bringing me in here to Thailand. Now it's time to get back to work. Christmas is coming. Hey folks, thanks for watching another one of our videos. If you like our videos, if you like our channel, you would love to game with us at one of our conventions. Check out Dice Tower Cruise, Dice Tower East, and Dice Tower West. Fantastic conventions where we play games with wonderful people, a humongous library, and lots of other events and stuff. Also, don't forget to check out our channel, like and subscribe. I'm Tom Basil.